Hey everybody, happy Sunday. I have been out and about all day grocery shopping. <laughs> um, it wasn't that bad. I did have to, um, I had to go back out and find some water. Um, but I have some spring water here, so I'll survive. It's not that serious. Um, but I was able to find a lot of fruits and vegetables still that I am going to like meal prep. I got all my mushrooms and stuff like that, dried beans. So I thought I'd do a quick um, vegan grocery haul mm -hmm. on my story. Got my buddies right here. Mm -hmm. So um, just gonna do a quick video, show you guys what I got. And then I guess like during this week and next week, I'll just keep sharing, try to post more about, you know, what I'm cooking so you guys can see how I'm using my groceries. So stay tuned. So I pulled these out because I didn't want them to fall out the cabinet. So I got me some ramen noodles so this is just some organic wheat noodles yeah uh nothing in it but i just sometimes i'll be getting that noodle fix you know we i grew up eating noodles so i like i have a little noodle fix every now and then so got me some ramen noodles <laughs> and then i got some seaweed packs i like eating these but i'm gonna use them like in my chickpea tuna and i like to put them in my ramen as well um this is just some spaghetti i already had but yeah so what we got for the dry goods, we got some packs of beans, some of the northern beans and pencil beans. The stores were out. I went to two different Walmarts and they were out of the dry chickpeas and they got the best price. So they didn't have them, I didn't get them. Um, I got some sunflower seeds and some walnuts to make like um, meats and things. Um, back here, I got some gluten-free pasta, so the king on the brown rice, I got some spiral pasta, and I also got um, the painted pasta. I got quinoa, so I do quinoa a lot instead of rice, so I got the tricolor quinoa, and I got the white quinoa. What else back here? And then I got some yellow polenta um, grits. I want to do some shrimp and grits or something like that, so I got me some polenta. I got me some chickpea crumbs because I'm going to try a new recipe um, with some mushrooms and whatnot. Got some barbecue sauce. I'm going to try this. Is this something new? I usually don't buy a lot of like sauces because, you know, they have a lot of sugars and stuff. But I'm like, what the hell? I'm going to go ahead and do this. They got a little cane sugar in there, but it ain't going to hurt nobody. But cherry wood chipotle, I think it's going to be good. So I'm going to probably make some vegan wings or something. I got some orange marmalade because I'm going to do orange chicken with my mushrooms. I got some hemp seeds because I make my ranch dressings and things like that with that. So if you ever see me make dressings, it's usually like hemp seed or maybe a sunflower seed sometimes. But most of the times it's hemp seed. Another staple is tahini. Um, I love tahini. I make dressings out of it. I use it in my chickpea tuna. It's a peanut butter replacement. I love it. You know what I'm talking about? I got some extra chickpea flour down there. I just stuck it in here because I had to buy it by the bag from Seven Onda. But I usually um, buy it in bigger quantities at the um, health food market. So back here I got some pineapple slices. Yeah, I bought it in a can because I don't have a pineapple slicer and I'm not gonna pay $5 for three slices of pineapple because it's all fresh in the pack, you know? I mean, we gotta be real about it i got some sliced beets because i make a really good um beet steak i don't know if i shared that recipe with y'all but it's kind of like a vegan cube steak so i may be doing that this week so i'll let y'all know i'll post that if i make it and put this back we got some peanut butter that was already in here um then we got some um tomato paste or whatever so it's basically like um puree tomatoes i really like it it's just tomatoes nothing else in it and then we got our sesame oil and we do our chinese and you know we gotta have a hot sauce Louisiana, it's almost done i need to get another one okay on to the next okay so the next cabinet we go so this is all like loose herbs and stuff i really need to get my life organized and get my jars and whatnot but this is all my herbs and seasonings up in there you know and then i got my flowers so remember i told y'all i had bought the bags i just reuse these containers and wash them out so i got chickpea flour in here and i got some white spelt flour from seven nanda so i just took it out the bag and wrote it on here so i know what it is and then we got some quinoa flour so i'm gonna make tortillas breads 
I use them for my batters. I also got some banana flour, but I was playing around with that last month or whatever. And then I got some flaxseed meal, which is good for when you want to bake something. So that's that. So this, so this is snacks and cereals. So here, this is on top of the refrigerator. So if I can't grab it, they can, that's why. So this is puff camel. And then this is puff millet. So I'm gonna put those together and make like granolas. Um, and sweeten them with agave and everything. So we can either have it for snack or with some ice cream um, or just in a bowl with some milk for breakfast, whatever I feel like doing. And then we got oatmeal, cause you know, you gotta have that emergency stuff. Got some quick oats. Got some rye crackers. So we like to eat our chickpea tuna or whatever I dip. And then, let me move this out of the way. So I got some chopped dates. So, um, this is a good dried snack. Either something like raisins, but it's chewy, sweet dates. And I got regular dates too, because I'll make like caramel sauce out of these. The kids like to eat them by themselves. So they like dried food. That's like, that's our food snack around. I don't do the packaged food snacks no more. And then I got um, dried mango chunks. So fucking good, like so good. We got some unsweetened banana chips. The kids like those. And then right here, I got some corn chips and some old animal crackers that was left. I like to put the corn chips in my salad. Um, so good, make a little taco salad. So that's our snacks. The kids like dried fruit. So that's, they, that's like candy, healthy candy for them. And I ain't gotta worry about, you know what I'm saying? So these are snacks. I know this ain't like snacky snack snack, but yeah. Okay, so now the refrigerator. So I have a lot of stuff in here. I told you I haven't prepped. So that's why you see this big ass box of mushrooms in the refrigerator all indignant. But yeah, I'm gonna get it out in a second, but I'm tired. I ain't gonna say I'm tired, I'm just, I need a, I need a second wind, I ain't caught it yet. So on the door we got, oh, I put this in a video before on Instagram. So good. So this is a bruschetta with sun-dried tomatoes and they sell it at the DeKalb Farmer's Market. So if you in Atlanta, get some of this, honey. This is so, so good on some toasted bread like so good so i got that this is some olive uh spread i already had this but i need to go ahead and finish using it this is decent i rather just eat olives when i if i'm not an olive olive fan but when i be wanting something pickly i get with it i just got some salsa from aldi um this is a clean one um it doesn't have uh like any extra stuff in that so i got that Let's eat with my taco salad and i didn't buy this right now but i've been getting into this okay sauerkraut it's good all this time i've been thinking oh my god that's nasty it ain't number cabbage i don't know if it's a i ain't gonna say just black people don't eat it but i don't know black people that eat it and they be like uh-uh but it ain't number cabbage and it tastes like pickles on your sandwich so like I'm from Chicago, so we eat corned beef sandwiches with mustard, right? But if you go to like the Polish German places or whatever, they eat the Reuben. The Reuben ain't number the corned beef sandwich with marble rye instead of white rye with sauerkraut on it. And they put, I think they put a horseradish sauce, but I be looking at the cooking network and they use a lot of horseradish. So I think we've been missing out. So try some of this. This is $1.69 cent. If you hate it, you know, you ain't spent that much money. But try some of this. I've been putting it like in little um, bowls, like making quinoa bowls with mushrooms and stuff. It is so good. It's like a little topper. I'm gonna try it with some salad. I'm gonna try it on some of my um, sausages too. But good, good, very good. This is just some more of that tomato that I already used, but I like to keep it upside down so I ain't trying to chase the last bit. Um, got some coconut cream. Um, I use this for my macaroni and cheeses, all my cheese sauces, my cream sauces, my, I use this for everything, like my cream cheese, I use it for everything. I tried something new today, I got this at Sprouts. Mother Raw Maple Fig Dressing, it's a vinaigrette and a marinade. It sounds really good, you know, lemon juice, some water, olive oil, fig syrup, apple cider vinegar, sea salt, and black pepper. And the kids, you know, they like a little dressing um mainly the baby Ooh, what's that on my hand crumbs uh but yeah so 
I'm gonna try this and I'm gonna see how it is. I'll show y'all, share with y'all. If it's really, really good, I'll share it. So, we got some stuff leftovers sitting here some king wine, some spaghetti. Got some juice boxes back there, but I got these muffins. Let me tell y'all about these muffins though. I got these from the DeKalb Farmers Market. So good, like so good. It got brown sugar. It don't have like three, four, five sugar, but it's got some brown sugar. I mean, it ain't, ain't gonna hurt you. Go ahead and try it. You know, if you want a little snack or some little indulgence. But it's egg and dairy free. These mugs is hit. Okay, get you some. Look, carrot raisin muffins. Get some. They so good. Got some almond milk back here. I had to buy the name brand one. I ain't want to though, but. I went on to get golly because I don't want to not have no milk. Got my seeded grapes already. Washed them off and rebagged them. I had a lot. I put one in the freezer. I'll show y'all that in a minute. But yeah, I got some seeded grapes. Got some portobello mushroom caps. I got three of these. So I'm going to like stuff these. I like to do these like steaks. So I'm going to season these up real good. I'm going to stuff them. They're going to be so good. Like, so good. Um, and I got two cases of oyster mushrooms. I'm gonna break these down and do all kind of goodness with it. As soon as I get some more energy. Up in here, we got some hummus, got some tomatoes. This is watercress. I love watercress, one of my favorite greens to mix with my salads. Got some my take mushrooms. I've been wanting to try these. They come like in a cluster. See the big cluster? So I don't know if I'm gonna break them down like nuggets or I'm gonna make a chicken patty out of. I've been wanting to experiment with a chicken patty, so tonight might be the night. I'm gonna try it. But yeah, that's what's in there. Now all these greens, this is all kale. Two, four, six bushels of kale. I'm gonna chop, I'm gonna clean these, chop them and bag them, put them in the freezer. But like I said, when I get that second win, we'll do that. Um, okra, this is all just fresh okra. The kids love okra. I turn them on and now I can get them to eat that, so. We're gonna chop these and put them in the freezer. And then we got some dandelion greens here, which are really good for cleaning your liver. They alkaline bomb. So I'm gonna cook these up with the kale because they can be very bitter. But I like cooking my greens with um, sweet bell pepper. So it's really gonna help. I got some spinach to mix with my watercress. And it's just some leftover romaine we got up in there. So I had two boxes of mushrooms. So that's that. And then we got some yellow onions and some golden potatoes. Up in here we got some bell peppers and two bags of um, zucchini. So I really like zucchini. I can eat them grilled plain. So that's that. And then we got apples. So the big ass apples is the honey crisp. And then we got some golden delicious ones and whatnot. So I think that is it. That's all I bought today. Um, I think I did really good. I got a whole lot of good stuff. So I'm tired. I'm making something to eat and I'm gonna chill for the rest of the day. I guess we're gonna meal prep tomorrow. Shit, we ain't got nowhere to go. All right, y'all have a good evening. I'll talk to y'all later. Okay, so this is stuff that's in the freezer right now. I got some frozen bananas, frozen mango. I put those grapes in the freezer because I just didn't want them all in the freezer. I probably won't eat them all that fast, so I froze some right here. And it's just some frozen kale and um, red shards that I already had in here. So that's that. I bought like hella blackberries from um, Sprout. So I just bagged them up like, it's like three cups each or so. So that's that, and I'm gonna let them freeze. And I got me some sourdough felt bread from uh, Seven Nanda. And then I got some ciabatta bread that I'm gonna use for dinner tonight um, here. So yeah, so that's it. And when I get done doing all my meal prep and whatnot, I'm gonna put everything in the freezer. So all my sausages, meatballs, all that good stuff. So that's it.